difficult, but um, it's the way and how and what and how we interact with the world. I mean, I, in this case, I'd like to mention a quote of a very good friend of mine's uh, Center for Gifted Fine Design, and it's, it's, it's how the intelligence of human kind is, is translated into objects. Uh, I think it was through certain disappointment with architecture and with certain discoveries that I happen to have throughout my education and being uh, in London at the bottom of a school of architecture during my uh, during 1998-1999 at that time the school they were never ever referring to architecture there was they were always referring to design as a big word as a big umbrella that uh, where everything could happen independently of the scale of the material and the and the scope of the, of the work so i think that was like a, a new gate and a new window that really opens my 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 imagination to things that were not just limited to the, the scale or to the materiality of, of architecture itself. I think that during my professional life, I think I really fell in love uh, through because of my father and his own design taste and my own experience uh, also teaching back and forth in Milan. I really fell in love with all the post Second World War design in, in Milan and north of Italy. I think that the approach of uh, theorists like Bruno Munari or Achille Castiglioni have given me an idea of how big the spectrum of industrial designs can be. I think that architecture can be really serious. Um, I think interior design can introduce certain atmospheres that go beyond the architecture. But I really think that these two guys, and uh, in general Italian design at that time, in the 50s and 60s, uh, introduced a lot of humor. I think that it was a very loose, a very serious way of, of approaching the discipline, but introducing a component of humor that I think it's, it's, it's crucial to understand, at least from my point of view of industrial design. I would, I would stick to Achille Castiglioni and how he, uh, he always laughs when he's always in any portrait with, with any of his objects. I think anything can really inspire. I think uh, lately, I think the material itself and the tool, the combination of both things, is what has really given me a trigger in my imagination of how to approach design. Uh, I don't want to say that it's, it's a question of more or less improvisation, but in a way it is. Uh, the limitation of architecture that really needs to have a client and uh, commission, uh, but the freedom or the liberty that you can have throughout uh, uh, industrial design or object design is way wider. So I mean, you can draw it and you can have an approach of how lately the techniques have been hacking the, the industry itself. I think that the, the approach or the, the, the how easy right now is to fabricate things uh, that some years ago was science fiction. I think it's an interesting question. And throughout that hacking of the industry, I think that the way I approach design has to do with, with that, how easy it is right now to, to have access to some tools that uh, some years ago were pretty expensive. But I would say that definitely the material itself is, 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 is a source of inspiration. So not just the material itself, um, the ways uh, you intervene and you fabricate with it, I think it's another important component. It's the what and the how. Lately, I've been really in love with uh, wood and uh, with a, probably a higher percentage of, of handcraft. Uh, working with it and uh, I think it has come also through a component of sustainability and in our wood shop there's a lot of scrap material and uh, just looking at it without having any preconceived idea has been a very important uh, process for me to, to just take a piece of wood and think okay like Louis Kahn would like to say uh, what do you want to be okay so, with a brick, what do you want to be? 
and uh, bit by bit, drawing directly on the material, working one to one with the material itself is, is a way of, of, of carving it out, slicing, splitting, gluing it together, uh, ended up with uh, something that probably was not uh, in my mind uh, at the beginning, but it's a process of a dialogue with, uh, with the material and listening to the material.